Hey everybody, um, this is my 2005 Road King Custom, and um, I've had it for a couple years now. When I first got it, um, I had the windshield on it, uh, didn't have the light bars, I added those on, um, if you're familiar with the bike. Um, but one of the things with the stock windshield that I had on it at the time, it would buffet my head around so bad that, you know, you could barely read road signs. Um, so, uh, particularly with a full face helmet, uh, I ended up just most of the time taking the shield off cause it was so bad. Um, you know, with a shorty, it wasn't quite as bad, but it was still, it was bad enough. So anyways, I went and I got this LSR or long ride shields. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but there's a bunch of companies that make them. This is the recurve. So it's got this little lip that curves up. Uh, and I sat on the bike and I measured um, with a ruler. They they give you sort of a formula for the right height for you. And I picked that out for this. I, I think this is a 16, 16 inch shield. Um, and uh, it helped, but it still didn't solve the problem. And I was getting pretty frustrated. Uh, I started reading up on what causes it. And basically it's this vacuum area in here. Um, the shield kind of creates a vacuum and the air that comes from below the shield and above the shield kind of there's this sort of pocket of turbulence right here. So what I did is I kept the shield, but I went and bought, this is for a, a Honda Goldwing. You can get these on uh, Amazon or eBay. You, they're just a, an aftermarket um, replacement and it comes with a template and it's really important. And I mounted it here. There was no real reason. I just thought, well, you know, when you see the Harley um, wind splitters, they're kind of at that level, and it was kind of out of the way. So I cut the hole using uh, tape and uh, basically a drill and a jigsaw, and I mounted this. And um, after my first ride, I would say that it, it took away... A great deal of the uh, turbulence that was hitting my head before so um, it made a big difference now there was still a little turbulence and I was trying to kind of figure out if there was anything else I can do and um, at the advice of some some of the Harley guys on the Harley forum that I'm on uh, I bought these uh, uh, I think it's DK customs cooling wings cooling deflector wings and they're supposed to catch the wind uh that comes from above and redirect it down to the head so they block some of that wind that would be coming up from below and to be honest between the new fairing the vent and the cooling wings i'd say that i've eliminated probably about 90 percent of the buffing there's a little bit left but it's very manageable and especially the bike now has a couple of sweet spots where anywhere between, say, 60 and 70, you really don't feel anything for whatever reason. Um, so, and, it, and it's amazing, too, this vent, which is adjustable, uh, if I open it up all the way, the buffeting is there. If I close it most of the way, the buffeting is there. And if I leave it right at that angle, that seems to be about perfect. It makes a huge difference just even moving the vent that little mount. So anyways, I really like this bike, um, but I don't like the buffeting. Um, it, I probably would have sold it if I hadn't figured this out, um, but it's something you can try. So I can, again, a recurve windshield, Honda Goldwing um, vent, which is the perfect curvature for the windshield, and some DK Custom... Uh, cooling deflector wings and for me it made a huge difference now i've only tried it with my my three quarter i haven't uh done it with my full face yet so i'm sure it'll buff it a little bit more but um so far um it's it's been a huge huge improvement so happy riding stay safe